What is up, everybody? MJ Kunzo7 here, and welcome back to another video. A top 10 this time. We are going to be exploring the best starter Pokemon that the world has to offer. And before we start, I have a couple of rules that I have to mention first. Um, I will be including Mega Evolutions for this list. Yeah, didn't think you'd expect that for a top 10 starter list. Also, Basically, I'm not, if I'm talking about one specific Pokemon, I'm not talking about its entire evolutionary line. I'm talking about specifically, say, I don't know, Grovile. I don't know. If I put Grovile, then that means I'm specifically talking on, about Grovile and not Trico and Sceptile. And that, they're, that that is a completely different Pokemon. Same with the Megas. Also, that evolution, there could be a middle stage evolution. And then also, say, the final stage evolution as well next to it. So, just keep that in mind during this list, and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Peace. Number 10, Quilladin. At number 10, we have Quilladin. And Quilladin is a Pokemon that I have... Basically, I chose Chespin and not Snivy for my Pokemon Brick Bronze series that I have started and... Um, did a video today about that because the seven team just opened and stuff, all that. Oh, yeah, all that cool stuff. Basically, I chose Chespin for my starter Pokemon. And I liked Chespin, but I really didn't do anything with Chespin until he evolved. And middle stage evolution Pokemon are the Pokemon that you use the most for, like, the start of the series. That you just get attached to the most and use the most for some reason. Or at least it feels like you're using it the most. Um, which is what I went with, with Krillidin, obviously. And I've gone through all of this with all my starter Pokemon. And I don't know, it's weird. Just always middle stage evolutions. You always, always, it always feels like you're spending the most time with them. Even though they're always or mostly disliked. But Krillidin, I don't know. Something about Krillidin. I, maybe it's the weird design or I don't know. I just like Quilladin, and I got attached to it, and I really, I think Chestnut's cool, and I like that it's like transitioning from normal chocolate to white chocolate, because Chespin and Quilladin are both brown, and then Chestnut's white, but I don't know, it just, it's weird to me, and so for it to come at, for Quilladin to be one of my favorites, for I for me to get attached to it so much, that just I don't know, I just like it. I just get attached to it. So that's why I put it at number 10. Number 9. Do you like Mudkips? So I heard you like Mudkips. Number 9 is Mudkip. And Mudkip? Why did I put Mudkip here? Is it because I like the design? No. Is it because I like Swampert? No. Is it because I like Mega Swampert? No. I just like its design. That's all it is. I just like Mudkip's design. That's all it really is to it. Just like its design. Number eight, Quillava. And number eight, we got another middle stage evolution. And I don't know. Well, my first Pokemon game was, of course, Soul Silver. It was Soul Silver. And like all kids back in the day, I chose the Fire type because, I mean, who didn't choose the fire type? Everyone chose Charmander, and everyone loved Charmander, and so they assumed that Quillava, or Cyndaquil, that's his, that's the starter, that he would be cool. He would be awesome. And I don't know, Cyndaquil's kind of cute, and Typhlosion looks like a hamster on that's on fire or something. But Quilava, I just got attached to it, mostly because, like, I was too stupid to figure out how to save my game and remember to save my game and knew that I had to save my game. So I thought I had to complete the entire game in one go. Yeah, I know, that sounds dumb. But I played through Soul Silver, and then all of a sudden I was just, I don't know, I was doing something, I guess, like beating Volkner for the 16th time, and then all of a sudden... Cyndaquil starts doing something. There's a blue background all behind him and all that jazz. And I'm like, what the heck's happening? And all of a sudden, he turns into this boss-looking thing that is so cool. I love Quilava, okay? He looks awesome. Amazing design. 
boss stats, or at least that's what I think. <laughs> For middle stage evolution, I know, I'm pretty dumb. I, I, I haven't even looked at its stats, so... I got this. I'm a pro. Number seven, Blaziken. Seven, we have Blaziken. Blaziken, Blaziken, Blaziken. Blaziken. Um, I don't know what I love about Blaziken. Mostly, actually, I do know. Pokémon Tournament. That's what. I really like Pokémon Tournament as an idea, and everyone wanted a for, for fast fast-paced fighting game in time in ties with Pokemon sure you had smash but that was just like what Pikachu and Jigglypuff and then that's it but what you got with um Pokemon tournament is you got just Pokemon and different ideas different styles to play and you want to know who I played the most as guess it Blaziken 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 Number six, Frogadier. Number six, we have Frogadier. Um, now basically, when I was doing my Pokemon Brick Bronze series, I decided I wanted a need. I well, I needed a water type, but I couldn't like I couldn't think of any good water types. I mean, there were really nothing. I didn't choose the water starter. I didn't choose any water starter for that game. So what was I supposed to do? Go buy a starter with Robux, and guess who I chose? Froggy. And just like Quill, just like the bow, and just like Quilladin, the same thing happened to me with Frogadier. I got more attached to it than I did with its pre-evolution and its um last evolution. And sure, Greninja is my favorite Smash character, and I am very attached to it in my Pokemon Brick Run series now. And it's like a main part of my team and all that. But I, I enjoyed my time with Frogadier way more than I do with Greninja now. So, yeah. That's really all I have to say about the freaking Frogadier. He's boss. Number five. Rowlet. Oh my gosh, Kai. You put Rowlet in this spot. Oh my gosh. You can't. You're such a... Ah, you are. Yeah, I can't believe you. You would actually put freaking Rowlet in there. Why? I don't know. I liked Rowlet. I chose it as my Sun starter for Pokemon Sun, and I. The reason I picked him is because Decidueye is an archer, and I love archers. Also, he wears a hoodie. How many times do you see me wearing a hoodie? A lot. You see me wearing hoodies a lot. Even though I'm not wearing one right now. I got one right here. Rowlet. He's a bird. Number four. Piplup. I don't even need any explanation. Piplup's just adorable. Number three. Charmeleon. Oh yeah, you didn't expect Charmeleon to show up on this list. I don't know. Charmeleon, I mean, I just imagine him using Dragon Claw for some reason, and I'm like, BAM! That's what Charmeleon should be like. He looks cool. I think way better than Charizard, or at least it's final evolution and not one of its mega evolutions. Because I think those look cooler, and they shouldn't be compared to Charmeleon that way. But... I don't know what it is about Charmeleon using Dragon Claw. I just think it's boss, it looks cool, and it's boss again. Boss. Boss, 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 boss. I just spat all over myself. Number two, Mega Charizard X. Number two, we got Mega Charizard X, and this is where the Mega comes in. And Mega Charizard X, one of my favorite Pokemon, my third favorite Pokemon. Also my favorite fire type, and it looks cool. Blue fire, all that stuff. You heard it all. It had a um, color change and all that. I think it looks cool, and it is cool. Everyone admits that, except for Uriza, or however you pronounce it. Number one, Snivy. Yeah, you didn't expect this one. <laughs> you didn't expect Snivy, my favorite Pokemon of all time, to show up on this list. Did you? Of course you did. Snivy is boss. No need to say about it. Who do you think I chose for Pokemon White 2? Hmm? Who do you think I chose? Who do you think I chose? Oh yeah, you know who I chose. You know who I chose. I chose Tepig.